Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Chris Reed of Neo Metals. How are you today, Chris? Uh, I'm very well, Tracy. How are you? Chris, thank you so much for doing this interview with me on what zeolite is. I mean, I, I have neometals. You've been following your, your lithium, nickel, titanium, vanadium, and, and recently Matt Bolson was talking about how you'll be recycling for cobalt. But in particular, you just put out a news release about zeolite. Why don't you start by giving us an overview on what that news release actually means, and then you can talk to us about what zeolite is, please. Sure, Tracy. Um, in terms of uh, zeolite and making it, uh, which is an engineered material out of our spodumene leach residue, uh, it can potentially be a, a cost advantage. We've certainly made what's called uh, a type A uh, and numerous types of zeolites. Um, so they're used in industrial purposes for catalysts, uh, adsorbents, etc. Um, so, look, you know, we're doing the engineering studies. We've got M&W looking at uh, the operating and capital costs for that. Uh, and we hope that that can reduce our costs uh, of production of lithium hydroxide in time. So, but let me understand. This, is, uh, this comes from lithium. Is that correct? It's actually, it's actually what's left after we dissolve the lithium out of the spodumene. Okay, so you have managed to find an interesting byproduct of lithium that it, I, I'm reading your news release. It says it's going to reach a, a 16.28 billion uh, market by 2022. Uh, can, so could you tell us a little bit more? Where do we get this number from, for instance? Uh, yeah, so look, we bought, a, uh, we bought a marketing study. There's plenty of big multinationals uh, in the zeolite market. You know, another term for them is molecular sieves. So you can actually use... Um, these minerals uh, as molecular sieves, you know, to remove uh, moisture from gas, to move impurities from gas, to purify oxygen, uh, etc. Well, is there an, a reason? We have so many companies uh, everywhere splattering the playing field of our stock portfolios yeah. with the word lithium in them. But I'm pretty sure none of them are using the word zeolite, or perhaps I haven't been looking for it. Can you tell me, are you just closer to production than many of your competitors, or, or can, you, you know, can you explain to me a little bit more? Because we, as shareholders, are actually quite interested in this, uh, this byproduct. Yeah, sure. So look, you know, traditionally all the, the lithium conversion has been done up in China, and, and they basically take the residues uh, and give it to cement manufacturers to, to make concrete out of. Uh, in Australia, you know, we're having a look at uh, something smarter to do with the residue, examining exactly, you know, what it is and can we make a, a value-added product to, to reduce our cost because, you know, reducing our cost is pretty much the only long-term strategy that we can use in the lithium business. Um, so, you know, we've got Mount Marion where we're making concentrates. We're looking at um, building a lithium refinery project uh, to make lithium hydroxide and we've got the battery recycling and all of that is to get the highest revenue per lithium unit at the lowest cost. So what is our timeline for shareholders? When, when will you potentially have, do you have an off-take agreement for this uh, commercial grade zeolite yet or, or what should we be looking at for production to wrap? To yeah, up? look, certainly next, next quarter we'll have the operating and capital cost estimates uh, done by M&W Group, uh, who are German engineers that are doing the lithium refinery project studies for us. Uh, we'll put that into the market. We're generating larger samples for evaluation uh, by zeolite producers. Um, so look, you know, it's we would it would run a little bit behind uh, the current lithium hydroxide project, uh, but only by a matter of you know months. So let me understand this. You found another byproduct because you're trying to get your prices down for your production of lithium to be an international global supplier and competitor. Is that correct? You found this byproduct that you can make additional revenue? Correct. Okay. You know, look, and there's, and there's some other guys, you know, there's one or two um, very good lithium converters that are looking to make high purity alumina uh, out of their leach residue because it is high in aluminium. So can you just uh, finish up by maybe telling me who some of the biggest sources are that might be sourcing commercial zeolite moving forward, just so we as investor intel investors feel more educated on this topic? Sure. Uh, certainly the petrochemical industries uh, use quite a lot of uh, molecular sieves. 
uh, and there's molecular sieves used on pretty much every uh, hydrometallurgical processing plant one way or another. So, you know, it's a, it's a very large market in terms of some of our, uh, some of the producers. Um, you're looking at Zeochem, uh, Albemarle, uh, different catalyst producers. Well, Chris, as always, thank you for joining us today. You're very welcome, Tracy. Have a great day.